we've got our code so far in that we're sort of, I like to think about it in that we're sort of creating a sandwich because we've got one slice of bread at the top, one at the bottom, and then the, the fillings inside. Uh, it ends right here, it starts over there, and in between we'll have the lettuce and the tomato and the mustard and all the good stuff in here. You can put the rest of the fillings you want in there. But what we need to do is do something over and over. We need to show each row of data of the comics. In my case, I've got four comics. So show each entry of the data here. We will say, using a for loop, we will iterate through the data. That's the fancy way of saying we're going to jump through, we're going to loop through every instance of the comic data. <laughs> so a for loop, I don't think we've used for loops in class yet. Uh, the, the syntax of it, or the structure of it, would be like this. We'll start for, open close parentheses, open close curly brace. I'm going to break those curly braces apart. Let's say and for loop. F O R for loop for a certain number of times. That's what the for loop would be. For a certain number of times, do the following. And the for loop has a particular syntax, although it's very common in many languages. Uh, inside of the parentheses, we set up all of the parameters of uh, how many times are we going to loop? And through what set of data are we going to loop? Through all of it? or a portion of it, how are we going to jump through and iterate? How are we going to loop through the data? We start off with by uh, first setting a variable inside of this uh, argument. And oftentimes we use i for increment. That is a common, um, that is the common uh, idiom. We say 0, semicolon. Now we are putting a semicolon in, in the middle of the statement here, instead of at the end. And we'll write the full notes in a moment. But basically, we're, we're going to use a variable as our incrementer uh, to start on the zero width um, piece of data. Remember, in the array, we've got 0, 1, 2, 3. So we'll start with the zero width index value. Um, we are then going to say, let's say in, my, in our case, i less than, well, uh, we've got four uh, comics in my case. Maybe you have four or ten or whatever, but just to write something, just for the moment, go ahead and write four. You might not have four comics, you may have more. That's okay. Just for the moment, write four. Semicolon again, and then i plus plus. OK, so if we've never used for loops before, this it needs a lot of explanation. So we've got three parameters here. The first one, semicolon, and then the second, semicolon, and then the third one. So the first one, uh, set up our variable to increment with 0 and start at 0. So let's say we wanted to start with the second item of the array for some reason. So we would say i1, because we count 0, 1, 2, 3. So for whatever reason, if we wanted to skip the first one, we would, start, we would go with 1. We want to start with the first comic, so 0. We'll say as long as the uh, index is less than, less than and excluding 4, keep looping. Do this certain number of times. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is going to check what index are we at. We're at 0. It's then going to 
it's then going to check is 0 less than 4. Yes, 0 is less than 4, so do this loop one time. I plus plus then is increment the index by 1. So add 1 to the starting point of 0. We're looking at the 0 with comic book. Is 0 less than 4? Yes. OK, do something here, and then increment it. 0 plus 1 is 1. It's going to loop. And it's going to ask, is 1 less than 4? Yes. So do it one more time. It's going to increment. 1 plus 1, 2. It's going to go again. Is 2 less than 4? Yes. Do it again. 3 less than 4? Yes. Do it again. 4 less than 4? Nope. False. 4 is equal to 4. 4 is not less than 4, so it stops. So the loop stops. It'll go 0, 1, 2, 3. It'll do it 4 times. That's what this whole definition here of our loop is saying. So if we had, you know, 10 comics, we have we have nine. I was I always forget on this ten. No, that's nine or ten. It's one of those. We'll we'll add it. So it'll again loop uh, the zero with comic, the third comic, the fourth, <coughs> the ninth comic is nine less than ten. Yes. Try to do it one more time. Is ten less than ten? No. So then it stops. What's going to happen in between is then it's going to write the rows of the comics. Um, let's just do it like this for the moment. OK, str plus equals. OK, we're going to add more to the string. We started the, we started the sandwich. At the top and bottom, you've got the, the slices of bread. Start the table, end the table. In between is the fillings. OK, well, we're, need, we're going to stack the sandwich. So we're going to add more to the string. Uh, quote, semicolon. We're going to create another row. Create another row. We've already defined up here we're going to have three columns. Title column, number column, <coughs> info column. So we need to line those up with TDs, which are table data, which are the individual cells. Comic one. That has a cell of number one. And then it has another cell info 1. And what I mean by these is the name of the comic number 1, the number of that first comic, and then the info of that first comic. These cells, TD is a cell, this cell, this first cell, lines up with that first heading title. The second cell, td slash td lines up with the second heading, the number. And the third cell, td info, lines up with the info column. So do this 10 times. Loop through this collection of data 10 times. And each time, put the comic. Each time, make a new row. Make a new row. And put the first comic stuff, then loop. Add another row, and then add another comic loop. Add another row, another row, ten times. Now, if we try to run this, it won't it won't be there yet. But let's just see what it looks like if you try to run it. Uh, try to check your errors and such. It shouldn't work yet. We're not we're not quite there yet. But the loop, the algorithm should work. The algorithm is what is the what is the code? What is the logic of what we're trying to create? A lot of times with programming, the hardest part is developing the algorithm. Once we've got that set up, then doing it once or 1,000 times is easy. If we're able to confirm that this works 
the first time we've got the algorithm, and then it should then work with a thousand comics in the database. Let me see what it looks like on mine. This is the dynamic part of it, this for loop. So it should show you've got 10 rows of comics. The data is not filled in yet. But it looped 10 times, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's pause there. Do you see 10 rows of like filler data for the moment? Does anyone have any trouble with that? Uh, double and triple check your spelling right here. It all, it's all happening because of the, the for loop definition. We're going to start with the zero with comic. I'm going to make it do it 10 times and then loop. First row, second row, going, 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 nine is less than 10. Yes, one more time, 10 less than 10. No, it stops. As long as the index is less than and excluding that number, keep looping, looping and then increment the index by one. When i is equal to or greater than, the max number, we stop. So here, as we loop, build a new row of comic data every time. Yep, this loop is based on this letter i right here. We start with the zero width instance and loop it, in this case, nine or ten times. When is the comment? Uh, as we loop build a new when, row. When? Uh, when, when, yes, when i is equal to or greater than, sorry, I wrote the, I was already thinking of that, uh, when i, Yep, when i is equal to or greater than the max number, we stop. Well, I know that in my app so far, I've got four comics saved. So if I were trying to run this for real, it would show the first four comics, and then I don't know what it would show the next six. Maybe nothing. Maybe gibberish data, maybe errors. So, okay, well, I'd have to set this to be, uh, you know, the proper amount of comics. But I don't know what the proper amount of comics is when the person starts to use the app. So, instead of hard coding a value here, we want, we want uh, the program itself to know how many times to loop. And we can get that very easily by just checking the property of how many items we have in, in the array of data, which is under data.length. Data is our representation of all of the comic book data. And the dot .length property will tell me exactly there's four comics in the database, there's 40 of them, there's 400. It will automatically check how many comics there are, and it will automatically know how far to loop. Set max number to the length property of the data. So it always knows how many times to loop on its own. So hard coding a value often does not work. This stuff is all dynamic. Um, I would never want to guess how many to put there. Someone might have 10 comics or 1,000 comics. 
by checking the length property, it will tell you. Okay, now if I um, if I run this, you saw a moment ago I had arbitrarily shown ten rows. If I run it again now, it should only show the the number of of rows that I of comics that I have. I have four comics so far. I'm going to add a fifth comic. Now, when you add a new comic, most likely it will not automatically refresh itself yet, which of course will set that up. But I added a comic, and if I go view, there's nothing there yet. Well, try to refresh it, and then you'll see it. We'll have an auto refresh eventually. But I added a new comic, and now I've got a um, a fifth comic there. When you try to save a comic and you don't see a new row, that's OK. Just refresh it. We will add an auto refresh later. We'll, we'll write. Um, one more thing and then we'll end and then it won't fully be complete yet but we will complete it next time what I want to do is uh, this uh, this row that we just wrote here I, I want to copy it and paste it Oops. I want to copy that row and paste it right after itself and comment out the one we just wrote here I want a copy of the code before uh, before we make before we write it completely. Because instead of uh, writing comic one, what that's going to have is data brackets dot doc. Dot title. Let's do data zero. I want to show the title of the zero width document in this cell, which represents the thing, the name, the title of the comic. I want to display the dot number of the um, document of the zero with one. So data brackets zero dot doc dot number. Info, um, we've got an icon actually that we can use. Ampersand, number sign, X1, capital F, 4, capital AC. Yes, of course, I had it memorized. This is going to create a little icon. Ampersand, pound, lowercase x, 1, capital F, 4, capital A, capital C. Now, if you if you kind of have been following along, you might know that something's not quite right yet. And yes, follow your instincts. Yes, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but 
just to see what this looks like, in theory, it's going to then uh, display this, the title of the comic, the number of the comic, an icon for info, in my case, five times, because we've said loop five times. In my case, I've got five comics. If you've got two comics, it'll do it twice. If you've got 20 comics, it'll loop 20 times. Make a row and show me the title and the number and the icon 10 times. So if I run this, well, I see the icon. I see the icon. But this is showing literally that, not dynamically, the title or the number. That should seem familiar like in the assessment. And that's where we'll end at this point. Uh, we'll do our lab time. When we come back, we have to rewrite this just a little bit to be dynamic and also to, to show every instance of the comic. But if you remember how we did it in the assessment, you might be able to fix this part before next time. If not, that's okay, we'll do it together. But at the very least, what you should see at this point is there's a table that's starting to get built row by row, depending on how many comics we have. There's these different columns. There's the icon that appears here by that code that we wrote. If you've got a different icon, we'll check your code in a moment. And then we're gonna have the number of the comic appear and the title appear dynamically. Let me come back on Thursday. If it doesn't quite look like this, I'm going to put my code in the folder. We'll do a little lab time. Raise your hand if you did see something close to this. Okay, good. 10 points for you and minus 10 for everyone else. <laughs>